Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you how I do my fake nails. I don't go get them done. I do them myself. They will last about two weeks. I will say the longer the nail, the shorter um, they'll last. I usually wear like the super long nails for about three or four days and then I'll trim them down and then I can get like another week and a half out of them. But um, shorter, the longer, the shorter the nail, the longer the last. Y'all make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, do all the things. It really helps me out and I truly do appreciate it. Alright, starting out, I'm just going to go through and see which ones fit which finger. Um, I got a little bit messed up because I need a number two for my thumb, but I absolutely can't find the other one. So I did have to go with a three, which my thumbs are a little bit too small for what they actually should be but I just could not find the second thumb number two so I just kept it moving um but yes I just go through I figure out what sizes go where I will um push my cuticles back and I will sand the crap out of my nails I don't do it on a real on the real rough side I do like a medium rough I don't know that square block's got like four different things on it um, but I do like the the medium roughness and I will just file the crap out of mine. I don't wipe off the like the dust either. Like I'll blow it like a little bit. I'll just go and blow it off. But I have noticed when I leave a little bit of that uh, dust on there that it actually helps the super glue um, adhere to my nail and the fake nail better. So that is what I do. Make sure you do push your cuticles back because it will help them go up under it. And you don't want to push them too far to where it like hurts every time you move your finger, but just far enough to where like it makes them look real. I wasn't for sure which pinky nail would fit the best, so I wanted to just keep both sizes out until I got done doing everything, and then I would pick, because sometimes I think one will fit, and then after I, like, file it and push my cuticles back, I actually need, like, the bigger nail, so that's why I did that. And here, you guys, my real nails were actually very long, but they are so paper thin, I cannot go without a fake nail because they start splitting all the way down the middle. I don't mean like across. I mean like down like to where my nail is attached and it hurts so bad. But they are just so paper thin and biotin. I used to take it all the time. I just I'm very sensitive to large amounts of biotin. So I just found wearing fake nails. It saves my fingers from being sore and ripped open. But um, I, I love fake nails. I like to change them out a lot too. You guys, I have a bunch. I have a bunch of Dollar Tree nails, Kiss nails. It doesn't really matter the nail, like what brand it is. Some are better than others, but there is, I think it's called LA Collars. Um, Walmart sells them and my little local family dollar sells them, but you get like, I think 22 or 24 in a pack. They are a little bit on the thinner side, but they're not like Dollar Tree, like thin. Do you know what I mean? And they are just like, they are the perfect thickness and they stick to my nail really good. They're, they don't bend or break or anything, but they are just like the perfect. They're not super thick like Kiss nails where like you can see your mistakes very well if you got the wrong size nail. But these are thin enough that it just doesn't matter. They just, they adhere really good and they just look so good because they're like the medium thin. I don't know. They look really good, but they're by LA Collars and you can get like more than, or not more, you can get two uses out of that one pack of nails. And then they also sell like a dollar pack that only has like 12 in it. That never fits me. I always have to buy two packs. But yes, you guys, it doesn't matter the brand of nails. Just find what you like. If you like ones and they are way too long, clip them bad boys off, file them down how you want them, and there you go. I buy long ones all the time because they just make them prettier. But like you guys, I live 
I don't really live on a farm, but I do have a bunch of animals and I can't do real long nails for a long time. I love the way they look on people and I even like the way that, that they look on me, but I just, they're not practical for me. So after a couple of days of me getting irritated with these really long ones, I will chop them off. There is a good, um, uh, fake nail cutter. I can't remember what it's called. I'll try and post a picture right here. But you actually shove, like they're for acrylic nails too, but um, it's like a couple bucks on Amazon. I think back in the day I ordered mine off of like Wish or something for a video. I can't quite remember, but it works really good and you just put the whole nail in there and it clips it all at once. So you don't really have to worry about getting it too even because you're doing it all at one time. Anyway, love it. I'll put, I'll put a picture up, but yeah. Sorry, you guys. I talk way too much. All right, now the glue does matter. I think this Maximum Strength Kiss Glue is one of the best glues I've ever used. I've tried like normal super glue. It just doesn't work for me. I, I'm not for sure why. A lot of people use it and love it, but the, the actual Kiss Nail Glue works the best for me. You want a good amount of glue. You don't want to go crazy where it's like pouring out everywhere. My first one, I usually do too much and I have to clean it up. Just make sure that you do not get super glue on the fake nail itself or it'll mess it up um but yeah just be careful um I don't put glue on the fake nail and my nail I just do my nail I try and cover my whole nail in a thin layer and then I press down for 30 seconds or more and I just hold that bad boy in place I make sure that um, my fingers aren't sticking to it and it works really good Did you see in that one little second, I took it off real fast before I press like firmly down, I check it to make sure that it is straight. And then if it's not, I'll take it off real fast and then check it again. And then I'll press firmly. You have a few seconds to make sure that it is straight. Just do not press down hard until you know it's straight. I do my thumbs last um, because sometimes I find it, if I have long nails, it's hard to do the rest of them. So I always do my thumbs last. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will answer them. I think they look pretty good for being like $6 nails. I got enough to do a whole nother set and I'm pretty happy. Here's some pictures. Thank you all so much for watching and I love you. And sorry that I talk so much, but thank you for listening.